Hi kids. So today our topic of discussion is very important. Coordinate geometry. Now look over here. Just look over here. Suppose I write a square. Then one will say that this is an algebraic expression, isn't it? With variable a and degree 2. But at the same time, somebody can say, no, a square represents area of a square of side A unit. What will be area? A multiplied by A. That's A square. Isn't it? So what are we doing? Representing geometry with the help of algebraic expression that is coordinate geometry I've given one example you know so it deals with study of geometry you can see geometry with the help of algebra isn't it where we can represent represent a curve or a line with an algebraic expression where a point is represented a point is represented by an ordered pair by an ordered pair in a coordinate coordinate plane now the third one ordered pair and coordinate plane I'll explain you now look carefully over here in this plane I have drawn two number lines perpendicular to each other intersecting at zero this type of arrangement is known as your coordinate system or Cartesian plane. Now look over here. The horizontal number line, the horizontal number line is known as the x-axis. The vertical number line is known as the y-axis and together x-axis and y-axis are known as coordinate axis coordinate axis am I clear and any point in this plane can be represented with the help of these two coordinate axis how just look over here suppose I take a point A over here. Look carefully. Now I'll represent this point A with the help of these two number line. How? I'll draw two perpendiculars on the axis, coordinate axis C. Okay, these are perpendiculars. Now look carefully. From here to here, which means the point A is at a distance 2 unit from y axis 2 unit and the point A is at a distance of 4 unit from the point from this uh, x axis so A can be represented as an ordered pair what I said ordered pair ordered pair means object taken in specific specific order okay just look over here from y axis it's at a distance 2 units so 2 comma and from x axis it's at a distance of 4 unit so 2 comma 4 and this is ordered pair this is how you represent ordered pair with the help of first bracket this, if you look carefully, is x-coordinate, 
this is x coordinate which is also known as abscissa be very careful all the terms should be clear and this the second one is your y coordinate look over here this is your y coordinate which is also known as ordinate which means abscissa if you look carefully too is the perpendicular distance of the point from the y axis this is what abscissa perpendicular distance of the point from y axis am i clear or not similarly ordinate is the perpendicular distance of the point from x axis look carefully am i clear or not similarly if i plot a point suppose over here okay so what will be the coordinate of this suppose this was one okay so your x is minus 3 your y is 1 similarly if i place a point suppose over here so your x is minus 4 and your y is minus 5 so minus 4 comma minus 5 suppose this is b this is c suppose i place a point over here suppose and see x is 3 suppose this is d and y is minus 1 so all the points are represented with the help of ordered pair taken in specific order what do i mean by that that 1 comma 2 is not equal to 2 comma 1 ordered pair the order matters a lot okay and this point you know the point of intersection of the two number lines is known as origin denoted by o so what is o o is your origin and o is represented by an ordered pair 0 comma 0 because the x coordinate over here and the y coordinate over here both are zero am i clear now look carefully this entire coordinate plane has been divided into four part this you know suppose this is x x dash this is o y y dash first of all your x axis is which one x o x dash is your x axis the y axis is y o y dash if you look carefully o x this part represent the positive side of the x axis o x dash this represents the negative side of the x axis similarly in the top you have the positive side of y axis below you have negative side of y axis now look carefully i have divided this into four region this region x o y x o y this region you know is known as the first quadrant first quadrant and if you look carefully any point in this quadrant you know the axis and the ordinate are both positive a both positive axis and ordinate are separated by a comma you take any point suppose i take a point over here so this will be 3 One, see, both are positive. Similarly, this is your second quadrant. All, this is your second quadrant. Okay, x dash o y, x dash o y, and over here, the x coordinate or the axis is negative, and the y coordinate is positive. Isn't it? This is your third quadrant. over here both abscissa and ordinate are negative over here this is your fourth quadrant am i clear and over here if you look carefully your abscissa is positive but your ordinate is negative am i clear now just be careful look over here these were the points a b c d lying in this region you know suppose 
the point lies on the axis suppose a point over here then what is the coordinate of this point p this is 5 comma 0 because on the x axis you have the value of abscissa but the ordinate is zero if you look carefully similarly if i talk about this point suppose q look carefully 0 comma 6 am i clear or not similarly if i take this point this will be minus 6 comma 0 okay suppose i take this point this will be 0 comma minus 2 so if you look carefully any point very important any point on x axis is given by x comma 0 look over here 5 comma 0 minus 6 comma 0 and any point on y axis is given as 0 comma y look over here 0 comma 6 0 comma minus 2 so in this cartesian plane or coordinate plane we can represent a point by an ordered pair x comma y where x is your x coordinate or the abscissa and y is your y coordinate or ordinate Okay, remember all these because this will be helpful while doing the sums. Okay, now let us see the sums from the first exercise. Now look at sums from exercise nineteen point one. M L Agarwal, very easy this exercise. Find the coordinate of the point whose abscissa is three and ordinate is minus four. One part one. So whose abscissa is three and ordinate is minus four. Done. This is the point. Whose abscissa is minus 2 and lies on the x axis which means if the point lies on the x axis the ordinate will be zero abscissa is minus 2 whose ordinate is 3 by 2 and lies on the y axis lies on the y axis which means the abscissa is zero and the ordinate is 3 by 2 that's already given to us okay now look number 2 in which quadrant or on which axis each of the following point lies see minus 3 5 lies in the second quadrant second quadrant is it clear 4 minus 1 means positive and negative lies in the fourth quadrant 2 0 now a comma 0 or x comma 0 lies on the x axis lies on the x axis because any point on the x axis is s x comma 0 both are positive which means the first quadrant both are negative which means the third quadrant done now plot the following point on the graph paper okay now i've drawn the graph over there a 3 4 look 3 and 4 which means somewhere over here this is your a am i clear b is minus 3 1 means x is minus 3 y coordinate is 1 somewhere over here so there. just look over here minus 3 and 1 c is 1 comma minus 2 1 comma minus 2 c is over here d is minus 2 comma minus 3 x is minus 2 and y is minus 3 somewhere over here this is your d then e is 0 comma 5 lies on the y axis So zero comma five will be over here. That's your e. F is five comma zero lies on the x-axis. Five comma zero. That's your f. G is zero comma minus three. Zero comma minus three again lies on the y-axis. Zero comma minus three. That's your g. H is minus three comma zero, which means over here lies on the x-axis. This point is your h. Am I clear? Now let us look at the next sum. Now look at sum number ten. Plot the point P minus three comma four. So minus three comma four somewhere over here. Am I clear or not? See. So this is your point P minus three comma four. Okay. Draw PM 
and pn perpendicular to x axis which means pm this is your m perpendicular to x axis and pn perpendicular to y axis state the coordinate of m and n very easy what is m look over here minus 3 comma 0 lies on the axis x axis and n is what 0 comma 4 lies on the y axis done okay now look at 12 we'll do it in the same graph plot the point 0 comma 2 0 comma 2 lies on the y axis over here this is a 0 comma 2 3 comma 0 3 comma 0 is over here am I clear or not 0 comma minus 2 0 comma minus 2 is over here and minus 3 comma 0 is this point okay on a graph paper join this point in order which means you join it in order join it so suppose this is a b c and this point I've taken as D. Name the figure. If you look carefully, this is a rhombus. No doubt in that. Number two. Find the area. Now look over here. Area of a rhombus is half into D1 into D2. Diagonal. There are two diagonals. Now if you look at this diagonal. This is two unit. And this is two unit. Which means this is four unit. And if you look at this diagonal. BD. That's 3 unit, 3 unit, that's 6 unit. And AC was, look over here, AC was 4 unit. And BD was 6 unit. Which means area will be 12 unit square. Am I clear? Now let us look at the next sum. Now look at sum number 16. Very interesting. The adjoining figure shows an equilateral triangle AOB. With each side to a unit, find the coordinate of the vertices. First of all, coordinate of O is 0, 0. That's the origin, isn't it? Now, coordinate of B, if you look carefully, this is OA, OB, sorry. OB is 2A unit, which means B will be nothing but 2A, 0, isn't it? So, it's 2A, 0. Now comes A. Now look over here. From here, if I drop a perpendicular, isn't it? Then we know the perpendicular is the median also, which means this will be A, which means the abscissa is A over here. And this, the altitude AM is root 3 by 2 multiplied by side. This we know. So that's root 3 by 2 multiplied by twice of A. So that's root 3A, which means AM is root 3A, which is nothing but the Y coordinate, which means root 3A. Am I clear? So your A is A comma root 3A. Done. Now look at the last one. In the adjoining figure, triangle PQR is an equilateral triangle. If the coordinate of the point Q and R or 0, 2 and 0, minus 2 respectively find the coordinate of P. Very easy. First of all, this distance QR, if you look, is 4 unit. And if you look, PO is nothing but the altitude. So altitude is root 3 by 2 into side, which is root 3 by 2 into 4. That's 2 root. 3 unit that is nothing but this distance actually and any point on the x axis will be 2 root 3 comma 0 am I correct or not which means your coordinate of p will be 2 root 3 comma 0 and that's for this exercise okay 19.1 in the next video we'll see the other exercise till then take care